Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another quick 4K action figure review on two of the same Transformer. We are looking at both versions of Deep Cover. If you're trying to get your Transformers, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, go ahead and please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell. And a big thanks to Hasbro for sending out this Netflix blue deep cover right over here the black version right over here I did buy on the pulse a while ago so it says deep cover war for Cybertron GS 23 and not a whole lot going on it's still sealed and everything so you got the cardboard box on this one right here you get the Netflix logo right there on the side you can see deep cover on the back there's both modes 17 steps and then you get a nice poster image right there window sliver on the top not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack these things open I'm gonna open this one off screen but this one I do want to open on screen. It's always a pleasure opening these with these mailers right over here. Always kind of interested in how these look, even though I'm never really that surprised, but always kind of fun, right? So, you know, let me enjoy my figure. Okay, and then you got the figure right inside there, and he's got his accessories. Of course, we have the instruction booklet and your action figure, Kaka. And nothing really too crazy or fancy going on inside here, but it does look cool. <laughs> Here's the deep covers out of the packaging and you can see same exact molds, you know, so we're going to make this a fairly quick video. The only accessory difference between these two is that the black version or the GS23 version comes with the extra blaster and the Netflix or the blue one does not. But anyway, let's get a closer look. So looking at the GS23 version first, you can see this nice silver blaster right here and it just ports right there. You get another port at the top, of course. We're all familiar with this body mold and then you get your standard issue side swipe weapons right over here or weapon and it just splits into like that nice white on the black plastic and then you get silver over the black right over there and yeah man i mean there's not a whole lot to it nice gold paint right over here for the star i like that and then the headlights look pretty good nice clean symbol right there i wish they'd gone with translucent blue plastic for this whole windshield piece i feel like it would have made these blue pieces right over here stick out maybe a little bit less but you know when you look at it from the side it's just there so that's my biggest gripe with this one you know but it's all molded in black plastic for the most part i do like how we have nice clean red paint right over here in the back then there's looking at the bottom of the figure and here's looking at the netflix one and this looks really cool now this is painted blue plastic over here i'm not seeing a whole ton of molded in blue plastic uh, the silver on the tires for these do look very similar by the way and then you get your side swipe weapon right here this is molded gray plastic Plastic just splits in two like that of course you could pour it over there but I do like how this looks I love this battle damage right over here the silver looks dope I actually really like that on my side swipe too the Autobot symbol has some silver all over it and everything nice little burn marks right over there the windshield's got all this nice silver right here and the black right over here blends in a little bit better I think you know especially because it's the same color more or less so that doesn't stick out to me nearly as much it just looks like a whole lot more of a cohesive figure like this for the alt mode again the red looks fantastic right over there and there's the bottom once again i want to show off these two figures with the red alert and the side swipe right here and it just looks really cool having all four of these i believe i have all four molds or all four figures with this mold at this moment in time right if i'm missing one now i feel like i really gotta get it but i think i have all four right if i think i was gonna put them in order i think i would go like this yeah one two three four all right now let's move on to their robot modes we take sway bumblebee and we have both figures in their respective robot modes. Let's start with the GS23. <laughs> So this design looks really good to me. All this blue and white, I don't know, just seeing it all mixed in here, it looks really nice. I like the color palette and everything. You can see that we get the white arms, nice sculpt and everything. Same as what we'd seen before with the other figures. It's got a little uh, crotch arrow right over there. In case any of those female Autobots forget where to go, you know. Anyway, on the side right there, you can see we got more ports and everything. And then there's looking at the back, you get a cool old port right there. And then the back of the legs is just the alt mode. And then, yeah, the, and then the red and the silver looks really good over this blue. So I do like this palette. The color palette looks nice. And then looking at the Netflix version, I do like this one as well. The silver and black looks good for the head sculpt. It's kind of like the same color scheme that we saw for the regular version. This is not just a flat white color. This is a gray color right here. And I do like it. I think it's pretty neat looking. Again, I love all the battle damage. And we get that added battle damage wear on the legs, which I love. So that looks really good. Fills things out really nicely. 
So, yeah, man, I don't know which one I like more. So, like how this is painted silver up top right there. That looks really neat. And then just looking at these from a bit farther away, I got to say, I think I'm leaning more towards the GS23 over here. As far as my favorite robot mode between these two, I do love all this silver paint right down here and everything. And I love blue, but I don't know. I think I'm liking this one more as far as robot modes. Then here's all our War for Cybertron trilogy side swipes. We have the side swipe red alert with the unique head sculpt. And then we have the GS23 version right over here of deep cover. And then we have the Netflix deep cover right there. Oh yeah, not to forget, here's these two figures next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell. I do have a live show coming up later today. I'm gonna start doing PO Box unboxing videos as well with the live stream. So stay tuned for that going up later today or going live later today from 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and then a membership slash Tron exclusive after party from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So hope to see all of you guys there at the 4 to 6 p.m. live stream. And I do like these figures. I kind of regretted getting the GS23 at first. I had held on to it for a while, but then after seeing this Netflix version and getting that for free from Hasbro, which again, thank you Hasbro. Thank you all viewers, because without you guys, that stuff wouldn't happen. But yeah, uh, I'm glad I have both. And I don't mind having a collection with this body mold. I really like the body mold a lot. So I am pretty happy with it. After all this time, I'm like, okay, now I'm, I'm happy I have the figure. Took me a minute to get to it. But yeah, I'm glad I have these. I want to know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to give them both a sun rating of... I love it! Because I do like their different modes differently, you know what I mean? Like the blue one, I do like that alt mode more so than the black one, but the black one, I do like the robot mode a little bit more so. So I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below. If you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. I've been posting a lot more on TikTok, so yeah, follow me over there, and I'll catch you guys later on the live stream, and take care. Peace! Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.